What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're taking a look at a little game called Moonlighter. This is a game that's made a little bit of a shake in the gaming industry because it's really pretty. It looks good. This game looks really, really good. And so anyways, after I got the press kit, I thought to myself, yeah, let's go ahead and we'll check the game out and see what it's got going on. The general idea is that you are an adventurer. It's kind of a Zelda-esque game from what I've seen so far. Uh, you're an adventurer who moonlights also as a shopkeeper. And so it's got little aspects of like Reketeer in there with maybe a little bit of shopkeep. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check the game out and see what it's got going on. In a distant world, strange ruins appeared, mazes full of strange items and enemies from other worlds. The dungeons, that's how they were called by the people who approached to burgle them. Rhinoka was the name given to the village that germinated around them. Two types of people founded Rhinoka. Heroes and merchants. The former look for fame, the latter look for gold. Now, 70 years later, dungeons are not as prosperous as they used to be, and life is harder than ever, especially for the oldest shop in Rhinoka, Moonlighter, and its youngest owner, Will. But we're made out of such beautiful pixels, though. Like, how can life be so hard when you're so beautiful? You know what I mean? Like, that's got to count for something. That's a pretty game right there. I like the way that everything looks. So it looks to me as though we can run around. We got, like, a little backpack. We can mush some stuff. What is this? What did I just... Ooh, there's a sword. Aw, oh, it broke. These low-quality swords, man. Dungeons just don't produce swords like they used to. Or tables, apparently. Let's go to the next... I'm going to smush everything because I'm a vandal. I like to break stuff. There we go. I can't walk through an area without... So left trigger is going to make me dive like so. Uh, this game, I tried playing it with the keyboard, but I gave up and I started using... <laughs> Star I'm sorry, yeah, I started to use mouse and keyboard, but I gave up. And that's when I started to use a controller. And it seems like the game goes a little bit better with a controller. So that's what we're going to do for right now. Uh, fair warning if you're one of those... Uh... Apparently I can just jump past that guy. Okay. Sounds good to... Oh my god, there's lasers being fired at me. Can I jump through lasers like that? Oh, I can. Cool. All right, the hustle is real. Uh, it looks like I can use a broom, apparently, to get into a little bit of trouble here. Let's sweep up some slimes and see if that makes our life a little bit easier. And then right trigger does what? Right trigger makes me pick stuff up, maybe? We'll have a look at it. What is that right there? Ooh, it's a thing. What did I get? Ooh, right trigger is apparently our health potion, I would think, is what it's looking like right now. We've got a treasure chest over here. Can I do anything with that? Nay. Nary, sir. You may not do anything with the chest right now. Does this guy have, like, some keys or something? There we go. Oh, it unlocks the chest when you kill the enemies off. Okay. Sounds good to me. Trying to lock in the basic mechanics right now and get a feel for how things are going to go. Open up a chest right there, and it looks as though... So on me right now, I've got a vine, I've got a root, and I've got a jelly. Inside the chest, there's a foundry rest, and there's an ancient pot. Okay, well, throw some ancient pot inside my backpack right there. It's probably a little dried out, but throw that bitch up in there with some banana peels, some orange peels in a jar and seal it off, and I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll be better by tomorrow. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of effort. So we've killed an enemy. What is this right here? We've got a broken sword. Okay. Doesn't seem like that great of loot to me, but sure. Throw those in right there. And then on this side, we've got another set of ancient pots. More pot for the backpack. A couple more grams for the journey. All right, gotcha. Uh, what is that thing right there? And also, is it broom-proof? I think it's... Ow! That hurt. Ow, dude. Ow! Dude, I'm getting dubbed on right now. Good lord. What is happening? I don't know if we're supposed to win this one. Ow! Yeah, I was gonna say, I wasn't positive that that was a winnable fight. That one was looking a little ugly right there. I mean, them monsters was hardcore. Dude, did we just pass through a jelly wall? Brutal. That's pretty metal. So that means every time you come out of the dungeon, you gotta take a shower. So if you're one of those non-bathing ass people that don't like to bathe or anything like that, might be a little bit of trouble. Poor boy. Even if you are alone now, you shouldn't push yourself too hard. Guess it's time to rest. The notification, I keep thinking I'm getting Discord messages because when I hit the A button, it sounds like the Discord notifications and I'm like, ah! Who's hitting me up on Discord in the middle of an episode? Please don't. He's been so curious about the dungeon since he was a child. Huh, he even found some of Crazy Pete's notes. I wonder what happened to that loony. You know you always find that guy deep down in the dungeon, he's become like the ultimate zen master. They're always like, oh, he's crazy, and he disappeared into the mountains. Then later on he gives you like a lightsaber or some shit. Good morning, Will. How is the little merchant doing? I'm okay, I guess. Just got beat up. Listen, Will. 
I know you don't have any relatives here to help you. It's something common among merchant families. We venture into the dungeons and benefit from items that we find there, but in return they take our life slowly but steadily. Even though a merchant pendant takes you out of dungeons when you faint, your body is already inflicted. Use the pendant before things get too serious, and please, stop using that broom of yours. It's dangerous to go alone into the dungeons. Take this old sword I used back in the day. Back in the Dia. Hell yeah, now we got ourselves a little bit of- we got ourselves a medieval gat right now. Well, that said, get up and we'll try to sell some of the items you've kept in your pockets. Remember, your grandpa was a great friend of mine. I'll try to teach you some tricks he used when selling. Okay. Time to hop out of bed and ignore my slime wounds and apparently sell off some health potions instead of using them myself. Can I hit some- Oh, I wanted to hit things with a sword, though. I was pretty excited about it. I wanted to break stuff in my house with a sword for coins. Come on, open the shop so customers can buy those items. Selling an item depends on several variables. Customer purchase level, item value, and item demand. Okay. I suppose we shall sell. Let's go ahead and open up the shop. Boom. Shop is opened, and in come the adventurers. We've got a shirtless person. Lady. Had to wait a second. I was looking for the boobalies. And you gotta... That's how you identify pixel characters. That's how you identify pixel characters. Sure, I will sell this to you. That expression was the best you can get from a customer. Not too cheap, nor too expensive. Pay attention to the visitors' expressions. When they look at your prices, they will help you set a fair price for them. Okay, so this one right here, he's gonna be like, No, that's way too expensive! I can get Mountain Dew somewhere else! This is bullshit! <laughs> yep, he gave us the eye roll. That one meant it was too expensive. So can I change the price on it? Finally, be careful when selling an item for too much. Once you satisfy people's need for an item, you have to offer them a better price. So, make sure to take more profit when there's a high demand for an item. Take a look at your merchant notebook where you can find everything available that you can sell. Okay, so our merchant's notebook over here. We know that at 75, health potions are G2G. Alright. Wow, look at what time it is. That'll be everything for now. You'll discover the rest on your own. Make sure you bring back the glory to this shop. I know it runs in your blood. Now let's go out so you can try your new sword in some dungeons. Okay. I want to stab a guy and apparently get more treasure. Stab a guy, get more treasure. It's the Splattercat way. It's how we do things. Remember, at night dungeons are more dangerous but also more profitable. Okay, where's the dungeon at? Dungeon over here. Oh, did a front flip. Oh, there's a shield bash too. Nice. Oh, that's sword animation though. I'm liking that. Okay. Can I break any of these crates? Ooh, I can. Nice. So where was the dungeon at? Where are we where are we hiding the dungeon at here in town? Who are you? What's up? You look awesome. It's a lady with some glasses who looks like she probably knows more scholarly things than I do. I'll be like, hey lady, tell me a factoid about stuff. And she was like, um, do you know that foxes are slightly radioactive? And I'd be like, I don't know if that's true. Like, I don't want to call you a liar, but I don't know if that's true. It feels eh, a little dubious to me. Doesn't feel like it feels like it might not be the truth. It feels like you might be pulling on my leg, and my leg is not stretchy. Who are you? Hi. People in Renoka are used to dungeon items that they become part of our lives and food. Do we eat food out of a dungeon? I don't know if I would eat food that I found on a shelf in a dungeon or whatever. Alright, so is this the dungeon I'm supposed to go into over here? That's the first dungeon I saw, so it's the dungeon I'm gonna go into. That's how my selectivity process works in life. Yeah, take that. Golem dungeon, level one. So we got like a little... Oh, we can also dodge. We don't have to use the left trigger. We can also dodge with the uh, B button. That's pretty cool. Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. Simple words of wisdom, let it out, that is my face. In times of trouble, smacking robots makes me feel better and get some coin. Smacking lots of robots, let it be. Alright, so we smack some robots. Uh, it looks like there's some enemies down in here. We might be able to get access to something if we can... Ow, punk. How dare you. That's right, we pulled the fungus about that thing's ass. That's right, monsters, be ready. The Renokin is ready to go. They call me Will, and I lack, well, any form of quit inside of me, really. That's why I'm so good at what I do. I'm gonna chop that sword in half, too. Teach that sword to, uh... Um... Ow! Ow! That dude let in. That dude let in hard. Ah, I'm down. Wow, this game's hard, man. This game's tough. This game's a little bit nasty. 
There we go. Ah! They swing so quickly. There you go. Dodge out of the way. Dodge out of the way. You got this. Ah! Victory is mine! What is that? Like a metal pole or something? What did I just pick up? What is that right there? An iron bar. Oh, it's an ingot. Okay, I'm happy with that. Um... Oh, no. Can he get hit by the lasers? Oh, he can't get hit by the lasers. Shenanigans. I'm gonna try and keep this guy back because if I get too... Ooh, what are those? Yeah, buddy. Give me those things. So do I have to kill these over here? Oh, I can. I can kill him. Okay, well, we'll hit him from the diagonal then without getting hit by other lasers and stuff. Grab a few more iron bars because those are probably... Aw, oh, man. I fell down a hole, which weirdly respawned me at a door. Ruins are magical places, bro. They are magical places. Who knows why things happen the way that they happen down in here. It's just magical treasure dungeon. Cool. Got some royal jelly up out of there, although I keep waiting for, like, a treasure chest or something. Oh, I've got potions already. I didn't know that I went into the dungeon with potions. I wasn't looking at my UI. So that's a... Oh, this guy's hella dead over here. That guy's, like, super dead. He had a rough day. Guess I'll pick up some sticks. To anyone who finds this message, my life is fading out. After fighting for that strange creature, my pendant is broken. I'm to remain here locked up in dungeons I have studied for so many years. The creature, I saw it once getting out of a room in the third floor through an impressive door, but when it noticed me, it ran away. He left some items really similar to our pendants. Now I think the creature is the, has come to take them back. Those items, I spent days studying them. I hope you can find some notes near them with their attributes, please. To anybody reading this, find the door in the third floor. It is linked to the fifth door of Renoka. Okay. I'm gonna take your treasure first, though, man. It's not, like, personal. There we go. Move that stuff over. Let me get some treasure. Yep, gotta do it quick. Adventurers don't have time for dilly-dallying and just throwing items around. We gotta do this the right way. Can I break that right there? No. Alright, well, we picked up some items. Oh, we read the note. Is there, like, another place I can go in here? Ah, there's a satchel over here. It didn't light up before. This strange cube is similar to the pendant we merchants use. By a high amount of gold, it creates a portal to get out of the dungeons. But what makes the item really valuable is that the portal can be used to return to the dungeon without it regenerating. Due to its shape, I've decided to call it the mirror. This item seems to have been created to work with the other two items. As they require gold to work, this item gives the user gold by throwing common items into it. I wonder where do the items go? Ooh, so we got new stuff. And it glows green, so you know it's all magical and awesome. Hell yeah. So it looks to me as though we've got a cube. We've got a merchant mirror. Dropping an item here will give some gold, allowing to use the merchant pendant. Okay. Seems to be inactive in closed rooms. So I guess I'll take that and drop it in there. Huh. It gave me gold. Okay. Well, I did the thing that it wanted me to do. Is there anything else around here? Or does it still want me to, like, continue forward doing that? Because I don't want to give it, like, my steel and stuff. Like, I'm okay with giving it broken swords or whatever. So that gave me 162, although we're going to need some pretty serious gold to get up and out of here. I don't know if this is a good idea. A teeth stone. Can I do anything in here? Crystallize energy. Easy to see the power. The golems are to contain in these crystals. Iron bars, strong and malleable. Useful to craft a wide range of weapons. More gold is required to activate Yo Pendant. Okay. Well, then maybe I'll take the, the foundry rests and throw them in there and see what happens. So there we go. I guess I'll use my merchant pendant now. So out we go. We're trapped inside the room anyway, so I assume that's what it wants me to do. Escaped with Pendant. And so we've killed a number of enemies. We've brought back some items. Hooray, we are awesome. Everybody else is lame. Let's go sell this stuff to a bunch of noobs. Selling it to a bunch of noobs. It's gonna be awesome. They are rubes. Gonna do it fast without my booze because we keep it classy up here. Alright, so this guy, what do you want? Oh, he can upgrade my armor? Is that what it is? Oh, if I get different parts, too, I can upgrade my armor and make myself look more badass, huh? So I can make my sword and board mode better? Okay. Sounds like a pretty good plan to me. Although we don't have any of the items we need in order to do that. Where my house at? Where's my house at? Did it teleport me right next to my house? I don't know. I'm lost right now. I'm new in town. I don't know where anything is. It's confusing and hard. Hey, what's up, granddad? This town has seen better days, especially when your grandpa opened his shop. The good times for merchants are gone, boy. Okay. I think this is my house right here. It's the most flamboyant and also animated, so I'm pretty sure this is my house. So we will place an item right here. Let's say that we've got hardened steel. I don't know. What do I want it to sell for? 
75. We can try it out. We've got a root. We've got a teeth stone. I guess I'll put that right there, and we'll call that one, like, I don't know, 25? I don't know what stuff's worth. I'll just throw things out there, and we'll see what happens. With a broken sword, we'll try that one for, like, I don't know, 10? Seems all right to me. And then for the foundry rests, we'll take that, and we'll call that one, like, 20 as well. Maybe it'll work out. So there's our items right there. Let's go ahead and open up the shop, and we will see what happens. People are obviously going to come in. Hopefully, they'll shop around, and they'll decide if there's anything in here that they really want. Uh, he's too high, too high. Oh, wow. Apparently, the metal bar is worth way more than I put it up for. Uh, let's sell this thing. So there it is. I'm going to honor my purchases. I put it on the shelf, you know what I mean? So I'm not going to do anything too rowdy. But now, I'm going to take a look at my reactions, and we're going to see exactly what happened there. So with the rich jelly, we don't know. Is there, like, an easier way to sort out items here? Is anybody trying to buy anything? No, I'm not trying to buy that right there. Its price is too high. Okay. So that we know the price is too high. A lot of the other stuff that we had, the price was too low. Can I do it through my inventory menu right here? Like, if I want to take a look at an item? Is there, like, a... Nope, there's not like an information menu. I was looking at the, UT the UI right there to see. So that right there, 75 was way too low on the hardened steel. Anything else hiding in here? Let's have a look. So the foundry rest price was too low at 20. That was too low at, tw at 10. Uh, ancient pot, we don't know because we haven't messed around with it yet. Uh, can I place more items on the shelves? Oh, I can. Cool. So I will place this little dude over here. We'll call this one 25. There we go. Uh, we'll place the foundry rest over here, and we'll call that 35 this time around. We'll raise the price by 35 just to kind of see what it's worth. And then the mushroom's already up. Steel bar. Maybe we'll try out... Oh, we'll try out a root. We'll see what people do for a root over here. What would you do for a root? No, we'll call that 20 right there, and we'll see what happens. See if anybody's disappointed or happy about it. And it looks like we can modify the prices after the fact, too. So I'll drop that down to 20. Because I think we're close. So that price is too high for a root as well. So we'll take this on over. And on the root, we will say 15. There we go. We'll call it 15 for right now. Price is still too high. It looks like the mushroom sells too low. So we'll have to think about that. Uh, it looks like we also sold those weird little founders whatevers a little bit too low as well. But, you know, we're making money. We're selling things. We're moving things around. Uh, can I close the store? How do I close the shop on up? Because it's nighttime. So they're still saying that that is too high of a price on that one. So let's say 10. See what happens. They said that was too high right there. Uh, we know the mushroom was too low. So we'll call that 45 and see if the price increase works. Um, and I don't know what the other thing was that I sold. Don't recall what the other thing was that I sold, but maybe we'll make a little bit more money. Come on, let's get paid. Definitely has a lot in common with Ricketeer. Yeah, oh, wow, the mushrooms are worth a lot then. So 45 is still really low from what these people are saying. It looks like maybe either demand is low for those or people just don't care about it. One or the other. Okay. That's cool. Uh, we can call that five then. We'll call that five as well. We'll try to get that locked in on the right place. We've got money for right now, so I'm going to close up the shop. There it is. Everybody out. 15 minutes till closing. And then I am going to exit because we need to go on adventures. We need to go on adventures. That's the best part of this game is diving down into the dungeons and finding new stuff. So I'm going to give it a go here. I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it that go. Everybody give it. Going to give it that go. Let's go. Let's drop. Let's ride. Let's roll. Uh, that one's closed right there, so we can't do anything on that side, but it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. We're going to check this place out. I wonder if the dungeon's different every time you go in. We escaped from that room after picking up a bunch of free loot. But, like, I don't really know what to say about that. So it's the golem dungeon. We got a bunch of little slimes in here. We'll go ahead and whack these dudes. Let's get them up and out of here. Murder! I thought I heard ya. Oh, what is that right there? We never picked up one of those before. What is that? That is an empowering crystal. It's a crystal that just tells you, you know, man, you can do whatever you want to do in life, all right? Don't let anybody doubt you. Is this like a healing pool, maybe? 
Okay. Do we have a map? Ah, we do. Good. What is this? This dungeon, or these dungeons, are unlike anything I've ever seen before. Everything seems dual in it. It looks organized, but chaotic at the same time. Items are placed in chests, but they look ancient, used by unknown people. Rooms are the same, arranged in a maze pattern. What is the meaning of all this? I don't know, man, but that's not going to stop me from stabbing fools up in here and getting what I want to get. Sometimes you got to get it. There we go. That's how we set it up and lay it down. We got a couple more royal jellies in there. We've been slowed down by the slime under boot. Oh, man. Oh, shit. I'm trying to get stuff out of the way for right now. And dodge out of the way of him. And then hopefully they don't start attacking on different intervals. Because that is going to be trashed here. Ow. I just got swiped. Okay. It's all right. We're going to work our way through this. I'm still getting used to it. But it basically plays almost exactly like you would expect it to play. Pretty much everything feels as though... Ow, punk. Better not. I'm going to drink a potion real quick. Oh, that did not help nearly as much as I expected it to. I thought that potion would maybe like square us away. Like we get like a full health meter, but no. What is this? Going until going town, this item remains hidden. Okay. I'm just going to take it all. If I can fit it, I can fit it. Let's go. Oh, no, I'm being shot at again. You know, that seems to be the uh, likely resolution of most of my adventures out here, is getting shot at. I don't think I feel good about that. There we go. Knock out a couple of these guys. Now, if they're up and out of the way, we don't have to worry about empowering crystals or anything like that. Crystals don't care anyways. They're inanimate. What is that right there? Is that like a boss room? Maybe I should look around a little bit more before we go into the boss room. I prefer to go in with some potions or something. Just in case things go kind of hectic and sideways. Dodge through there real fast because I feel like that's probably going to be a better way to get through there. Yeah, it's a Healy pool. Nice. Nothing like dripping your blood in a sanitary source in order to make yourself feel better. Yay, desanitization powers. Splattercat has them. I will wreck up all your rooms with my blood and fluids. He's got a big slime in here. And it looks like he's got like a little dash attack, but I can hit him through the wall. So it's not really that much of a concern. Uh, two royal jellies right there. Looks good. It looks like items don't fall into the pit either, which is really nice. A lot of games, they do that Zelda thing where they're like, and they just like fall down the hole. That's my sound that I use for things falling down holes. I'm sure my dog loves that sound, but anyways. That's my sound effect. Ain't gonna change it up. Been using that sound effect for a long time. Definitely don't go in for double strikes on these dudes. You will not make it. I don't know what he does different from the other guy, but he's a different color, which makes me think maybe he's scarier, or maybe he's a bit... Maybe... I don't know. Maybe he's rusty? I don't know. It seems like he's not really as bad as the other one, but either way, those iron bars are worth a fortune, so that's what I'm trying to grab right now. Got that iron... Maybe, like, a little bit of this right here. It's almost a little hack and slashy, too. Like, it feels a little hack and slashy, and I like that about it. It's almost got a little bit of a Diablo influence in there, too, with the enemy amounts. Ow. Damn it. I fell down a hole. What I really need to do is get rid of this little turd over here who's just, like, ruining my life with his shenanigans. There we go. And I think the enemies, I think you actually have iframes, and you're invincible as long as the enemies are in, like, that white state after you smack them. Like, I'm not trying to get killed up in here, but... I mean, if I gotta, I gotta, I guess. I would like some potions, though. That sounds pretty swell to me. Dude, these guys got all kinds of metal that they're giving up. And those things have some kind of weird chocolatey balls over here. I don't know what those are, but... Hell, we're... Ah, it's a mimic! Uh... Do I fight you? I think I fight you. Oh, he steals your items? Dude, oh, or do I knock items out of him? I can't tell. Either way, I need health, so... Oh, I killed him. Okay, that's why he dropped items everywhere. And in combat, you're not able to, like, look around in your inventory. We've got a lot of stuff around. I'm sort of convinced that maybe the threads are not that useful, like these right here. So I'm going to take them, and I'm going to donate them to that right there, and we'll just use it when we use it. Yeah, I was going to say, I didn't feel like those had much value to begin with. I might be able to craft something out of them later, but I don't think there's any point in keeping like eight stacks of them when we've got new items over here that we've never seen before. We might be able to put those to good productive use inside of our shop. Uh, this room's got us pinned a little bit, but luckily these enemies aren't that bad. 
Could be worse, obviously, but not that terrible. Knock him on down, and there goes an item. Did he eat that? Did you eat that item? Huh. Looked like he ate it for a second. He was like, no, 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 no. He just, like, gobbled it on up. Well, I've only got one health potion left, and I kind of want to go fight the boss, but I'm a little bit worried that we're not going to be able to handle it. I'm also curious about what happened with this door down here. I like how big the dungeons are, too. It feels like you can really make some pretty solid strides if you want to. You know what? I'm just going to murder you through the rock wall right here. The rock wall gives me protection. The rock wall gives me strength. The rock is life. Thank you, Dwayne. Thank you. Down it goes. So there's another empowering crystal. I assume that that's going to be worth a decent penny. I have no idea what the hell that thing is. But frankly, I'm not going to attempt it. There we go. Yeah, I think the red ones are slightly higher level or something. Can I attack it? Or is that just like an environmental enemy that I just have to deal with? Like a ghostess's. It looks kind of like a ghostess's. Yeah, I don't think we can hurt that thing. But God, look at that awesome animation, man. That's absolutely fantastic. That's really gorgeous. So is it going to chase me to every room? Or like, what's going to happen with that? I'm a little interested in how long that thing's going to try and bear down on me. Oh, he is. He's actually going to chase me around. Okay. Um, yeah, let's dodge past you. I would prefer it if that didn't exist anymore. I'm going to grab whatever the hell that is real quick. I'm going to stay out of his way because he's actually a lot more prolific at attacking than I like. I'm going to go up here. We're going to try and... Oh, no. I messed up. I messed up. So he ate me. What did he What did he do? So is he like, did I lose everything? So do I lose all my items when I die? Let's have a look. Oh, you do. Super weak. Super ridiculous weak. Oh, no. So I'm assuming that that thing is like, if you're not moving fast enough, he attacks you. I don't really know. We also don't keep our potions, which is kind of terrifying. Like, you don't get your potions refilled when you die either. So, that puts us in a bit of a weak position. This dungeon... Oh, I've already seen this one. I don't care about that. We've already done reading today. We've already focused on literacy. Let's move forward. We need to focus on stabicating a little bit better. I will handle you cats real fast. Run through there. And it looks like we're not going to get much more loot for right now. I don't really know what to say about it. Knock all them out. I got to pick up something, though. We can't go back home empty-handed. That is not the run for me. Like, that is not a good look. Oof. That was a crafty little room right there. I like what they tried to pull right there. That was crafty. Forcing you to approach it from one of the cardinal directions where it can hit you back. Yup, that was sneaky right there. Very sneaky, devs. Very sneaky. I wonder if we level up or anything like that, like if we get stronger, or if it's all just going to be in the craftables and whatnot, but either way, I'm addicted. I like this game a lot. This is fun. I can't wait to play more, in all honesty. I'm excited, so we may do a full playthrough of this. Now, this is just the press demo. Ah, it wouldn't let me pick those up. This is just the press demo, so obviously there's going to be stuff missing, but I'm excited to see what's going on with it. I don't care about these guys. They don't drop any good loot. I don't think they've ever dropped anything other than vines and sticks, which are largely relegated to the useless pile in my mind. Oh, I fell down the hole because... How come I can't walk across that right there? Weird. Okay, well, let's just dodge these guys and keep going. I'll probably teleport out because we've got the money for it, but... It also seems like a little bit of a waste to me. I'm trying to stand on top of these dudes when I kill them, too, so I don't lose their loot down in the pits. There we go. I don't know if those are glass shards or what those are, but we'll try and use them for something a little bit later on. Is that what those are? Glass lenses. Okay. And then we've got a training sword over here. Is that my training sword? A sword carried by newbies on prototypes. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, that at least explains that like there's going to be access to new stuff later on. Which I think is pretty cool. You'll be able to get access to new weapons and new gear. We saw that in town. But also that it drops inside of dungeons. Which I personally think actually adds a little bit of flair to the game. I like that. I think that's a good choice. Uh, do these pots have anything in them for me? No, I could use some more health. I'm a little bit beat up right now. 
Yeah, and a room like this was exactly what we did not need right now. Come on. I gotta focus, man. I can't, like, talk and do commentary at the same time and play good. It's just one of those things that I am not capable of. So they've been knocked out. Uh, let's put a couple on these guys, too. That'll give us a few more iron ingots. I got to go handle this guy first before... Ah, he led me. That's very sneaky what the devs did right there. You expect there to be a delay in between, like, when the creature fires up and when it fires down. But he's able to lead you, too. That's pretty, uh... Pretty sneaky, devs. Ah, it's a... Goddamn mimic. All right. Ah. Nope. Can't make it, man. This game is hard. This game is hard as hell. Good lord, this game is hard. Like, this game is really hard. Like, you get whacked on. Your character has no HP whatsoever. It takes you all, like, three hits before you're down. And it's like, good lord. That's brutal. I like it, though. Like, I, I really want to play more, and I want to get better at it. My name is Splattercat. This game is called Moonlighter. If you've been enjoying it so far, I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Uh, this is definitely seeming like it's going to be one of those games of the year. I can see it. I think this game is going to be popular. I will see you all next time where maybe we'll be a tad more productive. Maybe we'll do a tad better. Um, I can't guarantee it, though. Game's pretty tough. Game is pretty hard. I will see you all around. Bye, everybody.